Hey, I'm Ivan with ENI, interviewing Los Santos de Los Angeles and Latin Flavors and Casa de Calacas. Well, thanks for coming out to Chicago. Love it. Tell me a little bit about the scene in East Los. Um, it's all about East LA and Los Angeles, and we, we're just uh, three and one tonight. Casa de Calacas, Santos de Los Angeles, and Latin Flavors. We all come together to bring your show to Chicago tonight. Tell me a little bit more about this collaboration and how, how important is it to the scene here in Chicago? I think it's important to unify the music coast to coast, you know, to eliminate barriers. We begin with our people, which are Latinos, but, you know, we branch out to everybody because music is universal. And so, you know, music is a language of the soul, and we're all just one soul ultimately, you know? Now tell me, how is the scene a little bit different in Los Angeles than here in Chicago? Hi, I'm hey, Jesse. Hey, from Chicago. Yeah! yeah. I was born here. Hey, show Chicago your tattoo real quick. Right there. Uh, for those who don't believe me. Yeah. Look. There it is. Yeah. baby. I, yeah. I get my ass kicked a lot in LA because I have this. <laughs> but I play with Vivo Malpache also, Mr. Robert Gonzalez. He was the original guitar player yeah. from Vivo Malpache. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting drunk. And uh, from what I've noticed, uh, from I don't know if there's any difference. I just think that there's, uh, well, you know, like he was saying, we're Latinos, we're, we're from LA, you know, Chicago has its own thing. As far as the Latino, we're trying to push together a foundation that's been built by people for like Maldita Vecindad, uh, you got Caifanes and what have you. Now. And I guess new generations like people like us, we're trying to create something that what they built, we're trying to take it from there and build upon that. So what are some of the things that we can do to continue this collaboration across the nation from Los Angeles, Chicago, New York? Um, I think a way to continue would be um, for everybody to, to take the fear of, of coming down to, to another side of town, you know? Uh, it's all about making connections and, and contacts with, with people in different cities and stuff. And it's the same movement. Last year with Santos de Los Angeles, and, and it was on a whim. And uh, we were able to play a couple of venues, uh, Spot 6 and Fiesta Cantina. We had a, a you know, good turnout and, and you know, it was a positive thing. So that's why we're back. And we brought the Latin flavors and, and Phil, uh, Casa de Calacas, even though he's here by himself, you know, we, we, we're bringing the same vibe together, you know. One way that, that we can unify each other is by supporting each other. You know, even, even by downloading a song from each artist, you know, a dollar even. That makes a difference, you know what I mean? But we're helping each other out. We're making a difference. Don't be stealing music, you know what I mean? Don't, like honestly, if you steal music, you hurt the artist, especially right now, it's so crucial, because we all have our freedom. You know, we're all independent artists, and that's one thing that, that you can say about the scene that's changed a lot. Being independent artists, we depend on all our fans and, and supporters, you know what I'm saying? Casa de Calacas, what's, what's your new album right now, man? Right now, uh, our new album is uh, self-titled, came out a couple months ago, and it pretty much represents, um, we're all from East LA, where the Casa de Calacas name came from a group of six cousins, Todos Somos Primos Hermanos, and it's pretty much uh, a hybrid of the sounds that we hear in the barrio of East LA, the sounds that our parents gave us, the sounds that we hear now on the radio, or, you know, at the clubs, you know, it's just a basic uh, mezcla de todo. It has merengue, salsa, ranchera, punk, hip hop, everything that we've been listening to. Oh, to anything from Los Bukis to like Dr. Dre. You know, it, it's all in there. Mariachi Vargas, all that stuff, you know. So, you know, being that family that, that we are, you know, in reality, we try to bring out that family vibe in the shows. You know, the people aren't just fans or, you know, friends. It's todos somos familia. And you guys are talking a lot about family, right? So what do you think about LAMC? LAMC, at least LAMC taught me to look into the internet, to look into digital, because that's what they're doing too. You see Nacional Records, which is Tomas Cookman's label, they're making ground with everything. They're, they have like the one of the best releases coming out like as far competitive with other artists, you know, because they're branching out. They understand the media is different. All right, guys, you heard it here. I I'm Ivan and this was Los Santos Ivan. de Los Angeles. This is Ivan too. All right, Ivan. Right, <laughs> <laughs> flavors and casa de calaca. Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you and see you later. This is Latin Flavors, Casa de Calacas, and Santos de Los Angeles directly from the West Coast. 
and you are watching Errores No Eliminados. That's right. One, two, three. Errores No Eliminados. Eliminados, right? Eh, eliminados or eliminados? Eliminados. You don't want my pocho version of <laughs> this is Santos de Los Angeles, the Latin flavors, and Casa de Calacas directly from the West Coast, baby. And you are, yeah. And we are watching Errores No Eliminados. Yeah, Amor y Paz y Puro Chichi. <laughs>